the storm of gaming be with you. Ignition. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker SX9 here with episode 4 of my Fallout 3 Let's Play for Grand Star Legion's. Summer, uh, Storm Singularity, Summertime Splash, uh, RPG Game Series, Let's Play! That's a lot to say in one setting. This rain gone. Um, so in the last episode, we found our dad in Tranquility Lane. He was trapped there for a bit, trying to find information for Project Purity. We also made it to Rivet City and met Dr. Lee. And we also went to the Jefferson Memorial as well. We killed a bunch more feral ghouls and super mutants. We also killed a super mutant behemoth as well. Um, so next up, we're back at Megaton. We're going to be making a trip to the armory again to get more ammo because we're running low on ammo for the sniper rifle. And we also need ammo for the desert dragon as well. We may also grab the desert eagle that's in there as well. I also grind it up a little bit more. I am now level 40. In the last episode, I was still level 15. But now that we're going into mid-game now, we need to be a little bit more higher level at this point. Because in order to trigger Broken Steel, you got to be above level 30. So, yeah. We're definitely going to be doing Broken Steel when it comes up to it. We're also going to be doing Point Lookout as well. After that... And then we're also going to be doing Operation Anchorage. That'll be fun. I'll probably save Operation Anchorage for a different time, though. Um, Armory, yes. Oh, we're back in here again. Get some ammo. Fifty caliber bullets. Since the the Desert Dragon and the other sniper rifle that I have uses the fifty caliber bullets. Grab that as well. We have 45 calibers down here. We need that for the, uh, the Colt 45 that we picked up as well. Oh, remember I'm playing this with keyboard and mouse. I would be playing it with a controller, but uh, playing the PC version of Fallout 3. So that's why I got these mods and makes the game more interesting. And it's also the game of the year edition of the game, too. That's why I said I'm going to be doing Broken Steel and Point Lookout. 
I may also do the pit as well. I'll probably save the pit for October since that is, um... That's basically taking me to Pittsburgh. All right. Probably grab well for the sniper rifle, ammo for the shotgun. Yeah, just grab it all. Uh -huh. Well, this right here is flamer fuel. I don't really need that right now. I don't really use a flamer. These are grenades. These are my rifles. I'm going to be grabbing another dragon off sniper rifles. One that I got is a bit damaged. Just so you know, you kind of need the same kind of gun in order to repair it. Or you go to a shopkeeper and get your stuff repaired. Here's the M60 machine gun that I mentioned. I will grab that and I will save that for when I get a companion. I'm gonna give the companion the M60. Wonder what type of ammo it uses. Um, this is where the handguns are. I grab the Desert Eagle. We're gonna drop some guns on the floor. Yeah, the M60 shotgun is basically the gun that everybody saw in movies like Rambo and Terminator. I uh, believe it was also in the first Predator movie as well. But it's the most common weapon that you would see in Vietnam and the 80s, and stuff like that. Yeah. It's an iconic weapon. All right. I think we're good. All right, let's make our way to Springville. We have, I haven't shown you Springville yet. There's another shop here as well. Springville shop. Okay. What does he have? Guns, guns, and more guns. What do you need? Let me see your inventory. Can you repair my weapons? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. Okay. Let me see your inventory. I tell you, for a bunch of dumbass wasters, the boys pull some good stuff off of the new meat. A321 plasma rifle. I'll take that. Black Bart's Bane. Black Hawk. I'll take the Black Hawk. There's a fat man in there. The type of rocket launcher that shoots mini nukes. Yeah. <laughs> I 
The terrible shotgun. Grab the stem packs. Gotta give him some stuff. You can have the flamer fuel. I don't need the flamer fuel. Have that. I don't need the railway spikes either. We'll take your inner cells. Microfusion cells. Shotgun shells as well. All right. We are good. A pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Yes, he's called the Mothman. He's not really the Moss Man. He's just the Moss Man. All right, let's go back to the Jefferson Memorial. They're now good. Gotta rest again, it's getting dark. Time flies when you fast travel, so... All right. Check our weapons. What are we gonna be using this time? Let's see, we can finally use the Desert Eagle. Or the Desert Dragon. Yeah, let's use that. Actually, let's use the Plasma Rifle. This one's gonna be fun. Use the plasma rifle. I'll take that. Deactivate turret system. All right. Did I get all those super view? Did I miss? Yep, I missed some. Oh! All right, it is now safe to enter here. One super mutant, ha ha ha. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? Everything is there. Everything? Yeah, it's taken care of. Should be safe now. Excellent. Let's get inside and get to work. Good to see you. Everybody get in. Come on, Dr. Lee. Some people are in such a hurry.
Yes? Did you need something? Hello. What? What? Hey there. Let's get to the control room and assess the situation. We can talk more there. All right. Gotta wait for them to get to the control room. Robco. Oh, great. I thought that said Pablo. Is everything all right? Yes, pick up that weapon. You're definitely going to. Some people are in such a hurry. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. What do I need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I'll need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Okay, where do I need to go? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. All right. Oh, great. Got our jobs cut out for me. Hey there. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you'll need. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? Yes, I disarmed the bomb. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world, far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. That's something about fuses? Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. 
What's the big deal about water anyway? Be careful, my son. All right. We're getting somewhere, guys. Hey there. Fuses in place, you should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room, just head straight there. Boot up the mainframe, Moody. It's a bit of a maze down here. I know I keep saying that, but it truly is. Everything all right? Where do I go from here? You're on the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated door. Where am I now? You're in the security level. It's full of holding tanks for the water as well as our processing equipment and power systems. I have to go now. I'll see you when you get back. Going this way. And out loud. You're going in circles. You're going in circles, guys. Oh my god, I don't even need a weapon. There we are. You can get lost very easily down down in these things. Alright, now we can go in here! Well, It'll just be a few minutes until we can access the mainframe. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait, there's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Where do I go from here? Head up to the museum level. Use the door at the north end of the level you're on now. I have to go now. Keep up the good work, son. Did you know the guy that voices the dad in Fallout 3 is Liam Neeson? Yep. He played Qui-Gon Jinn in Star Wars, and he's also famous for other movies like, you know, famous for other movies. You can list them in the comments below.
Oh no, now we're going down here. Things are about to get interesting, guys. To get out my weapon, we're gonna need it. Time to get the pistol out. We got some visitors, guys. Everyone, listen. Seems we have some visitors. I don't know who they are or what they want. Please, everyone, remain in your assigned areas while we get this from the plane. What are they doing here? Where? Madison, lock the door. They got visitors, guys. You probably know who they are. If you've played this game before. For those of you that never played it, I won't spoil it just yet. Yep, it's the Enclave. The Enclave has raided the building. The Jefferson Memorial. Oh, this is gonna be fun. going to be taking their power armor but we're going to be needing one later this facility is now under united states government control the person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project that's quite impossible this is a private project the enclave has no authority here I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. Enough of these delays! Almost ready. I'm compiling the data now. Run. Ah! Run! Ah! Oh! Dead! Ah! Damn it! What is he 
doing in there? James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. What the hell just happened? James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. How do we get out of here? We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go. Get your weapon out. You got Enclave to fight. We need to escape while we can. Don't wander off. We're going to need you. Where to now? This tunnel leads to the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's Fortress. We should be safe there, if we can make it. What's up ahead? You seem nervous. I don't know what's ahead. That's the problem. No one has used these tunnels in years, but we can't stay put. The Enclave will find us eventually. We have to get moving. You have a plan? We need to keep everyone together, and we need to get through this tunnel as quickly as possible. We're not safe until we reach the other side. You should stay close and we'll follow behind you. Let's get moving. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Be careful. What did you do? What did you do? Shut up, you stupid robot. I said, shut up, good robot. No DMCA for you. I said, shut up. Nobody needs to hear the Barney theme. There's a locked door up ahead. I can open it, but it'll take some time. Get it now. Headshot. Headshot. Ah. Ah. The sure have a lot, a lot of fun on their hands, don't they? Look at him crouching away from the damage. There's still another one up there. Ah! Headshot. Oh, this will make for a great moment, won't it? A new meme. Headshot. How many headshots? Is that a glitch? Where are you? Headshot! Headshot!
Huh. The Iron Man's gonna have fun with this moment. Let's change over to a sniper rifle. We need to escape while we can. It's a glowing one! Any surprise guess? Barrel ghoul! Headshot! We can't go any further. We need to stop. Why would we stop now? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. What can I do to help? I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Here, take some stim packs. That should get him through. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment and we can continue. You have gained karma. Cyborg! I'm feeling better already. Let us continue and not waste more time here. Alright, if you're up to it, we'll continue. Shot. Let's not kill everybody. I'm gonna headshot. 
shot. One and two. That is called a Faragul Reaver. And they are the strongest Faragouls in the game. The Behemoth is the strongest Super Mutant in the game. This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. Target out of here. No! Get back in here! Lady! Y'all are crazy. They're running around like chickens with the heads cut Let's off. Let's get out of here. Why is Garza red? This is hopeless. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Wait for them to get over here. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! We just made it to the Citadel, guys. All right. Hail. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Come. down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? <sighs> no, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Instinct. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. I've been meaning hey, to ask you. Yes? Elder Lott. Hi. I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. And the sir. About the enclave? At ease, sir. Peabody was telling me about those hey, You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. You know about the enclave. More than anyone else, I dare say. 
Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. That's all I wanted to know. So be it. Anything you could tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Can someone in the citadel train me to wear power armor? Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid Paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor, when they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. I have to go now. Hail. Enclave plasma weapons? You know, they can turn Welcome. a man to goo. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Someone in the Citadel trained me to wear power armor? Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. I have to go now. In my father's name. I bid you farewell. How the hell do you defend against that? All right. Let's go see this Paladin Gunny. But first, it's wait time again. This is Three Dog. And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. 
And now, some music. Up next is Roy Brown, telling us all about that mighty, mighty man. Where are you, Paladin Gunny? I know who I'm gonna get right now. They're all still running. What the hell's going on? Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now, what may I do to help you? You knew my father? I did, and you as well. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was... a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. I loved him so much. I'll never forget him. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. But now I must ask you a difficult question, if I have your leave to do so. By all means, ask. I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. I would be honored, Star Paladin Cross. Then I shall follow your leave and submit to your command. As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here, now. Let us go forward, crush the Enclave, and fulfill your father's mission. Yeah! Yes. What do you require? Let's trade gear! In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well-equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Remember the machine gun? I don't have very much ammo for it, though. Eh. I'll give her the shotgun. It's got plenty of ammo for that. Let's talk about your tactics. I am open to your suggestions. I want to change your combat style. A member of the Brotherhood is trained in all weapons as an initiate. What do you wish? I, I want you to use ranged weapons. Very well. I shall cover your approach. Let's get going. I shall remain vigilant. Also, we will get her an el a helmet eventually to match the suit she's wearing. Hail. She doesn't have a helmet yet, but we have to find it. All right, so we have to talk to this Rothschild guy. There hey, he is. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment? 
My father was looking for something called a gek. Do you have one? I need to find a gek. A gek? Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. So you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Thanks for your help! You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. All right, let's go look at a vault computer. Also, let, let me save it. This is just a precaution, just in case the game crashes. Yep. Told you the game would crash. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, guys. I gotta go look at a Voltec computer. Also, we should get our power armor at some point. We can't get it yet. Welcome. Yep. All right, DC area bolt listing. Bolt 76. What bolt is this from? Fallout 76. Equipment, ish, equipment insurance. Bolt number 76. Starting construction date. February 2065, ending construction date October 2069, total number of occupants 500, total duration 240 months, computer control system, brain power 4, primary power supply, light, light life, geothermal, second power supply, geo, general atomics, nuclear power. Non standard equipment, none. Personal assignments. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control volts. It will operate exactly according to the plan de de dictated in the marketing material produced by Volt Tech and precisely to res resident expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiment. Project Access Restricted. Anyways, this is for this is Volt 76 which is in Virginia. So we don't go there until Fallout 76. So, yeah. Um, this is Bolt 101. Obviously, is in Fallout 3. Bolt 112. We've already been there. That's where we did the Tranquility Lane stuff. 
with Dr. Braun, you know. Um, that was in part three. And it, the one vault that's not on this list is Vault 111. So, technically, that was in the Commonwealth. So, I, I see why it's not on there. But the one we need to look at is Vault 87. Equipment insurance. Okay, looks like we found something. We should talk to Rothschild again. They have a GEC. So we need to go to Vault 87. Let's go talk to Rothschild. Hail. The Brotherhood is at your service. Yes, it is. I mean, the Brotherhood may be assholes, but... Where are you? You know who I'm looking for. There's Elder Lion. Hello, scribe Peabody. I trust the thing. He's out here somewhere. Is that you? Hail. An How issue. You've got there a you lot are. of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Can you train me to use power armor? Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Hasn't that always been enough? You worry too much. You have received the specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. What aid can I offer you, outsider? So, any thoughts on the Enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. I have to go now. Damn initiates. I can now wear power armor. Yeah, Woohoo! I appreciate I'm three your master of ceremonies. Of all I survey. That was quite a jump. Rothschild, where are you? Here you are. Did you have any success with that old terminal? Vault 87 has a GEC, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Eat a doo doo. Follow Rothschild. Okay. The way I'm walking. Oh, what's this? Map? I have those. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. 
And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Well, I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. So there's a vault down there and you've never bothered to investigate it? Attempts were made, but our resources are stretched thin. The radiation proved fatal and so our efforts were focused elsewhere. Perhaps you will have more success. Well, I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. Thanks for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Results you asked for, I, sent I understand. This map, by the way, will be important later on. Is advised. Because it also has other vaults on that map that we can visit. The one that's not on there is Vault 112, which we've already hey. been to. Honor us with your presence here. We finally got our companion, Paladin Star Crops. Caution is advised. You honor us with your presence here. Really? Wow. I just fell off. Put that in the record books. Trying to get out of here and I fall off. Okay. We finally made it to the Citadel as well. And we have the ability to wear power armor eventually. We don't have it yet. I did pick up the Enclave power armor, but I don't want to wear that one. So, yeah. Need something, friend? All right. This is also where we're going to end it here because the next episode is going to be fun. All right. Star Paladin Cross. Thanks for your assistance. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add affairs, and click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. So, we had a lot of action today. We killed some super mutants, we killed some more feral ghouls, and we also ran into the Enclave this time. I think we also ran into some raiders as well this time as well. There might have been some raiders, um, but yeah. All right. See you guys next time.